Hello guys, welcome to the channel and for this video I'm going to show you how to list and sell digital products on eBay in super easy and super simple steps. So for that we will just dive in and see how we can do. As you can see I already have my eBay open and of course before we get to just like selling in general I will go ahead and check eBay's actually like biggest export read. This is like their um, selling key points for you. This is like how to, their general guide, it's a guide basically. They give you like key points, they give you pointers and they tell you how to do stuff. Like I'm gonna like tell you about them, then we're gonna like demonstrate them together. There are, as you can see, three ways to sell digital products on eBay. You can list electronically delivered items, which is like digital products, on the, of course, everything else, information products, this category, of the classified ad formats. Of course, this is like the first method only. If you do not know what any of these means, don't worry. I will tell you all about it. The eBay classified ad format, as it says here, removes eBay actually from the transaction. The marketplace, like this marketplace, only acts as a lead generator and the sale or the delivery are negotiated between us and of course the buyer itself. The transaction is not done on eBay, so it's basically like a Facebook marketplace or something like that where you like get to talk with the person and then you get the money, you give them the product, eBay does not do almost anything here. They just like help you put the product out there. To select this type of listing, you like open the sell your item form, like from here or like here. You basically select those and find the pricing section. And when you go there, you can choose the classify ad instead of buy it now or the auction part. Then you can do whatever you want. And then there is a second option, which is selling a physical item with a digital file. You can sell those files via auctions or buy it now listings when you deliver a file on a disc or a thumb drive like a, I don't know, like example for a movie. When you like try to buy a movie like this, for example, you can sell this item with like a digital disc or like a digital DVD with like a digital thumb drive. You can sell this digital item like on a disc or like a thumb drive or something like that pretty easily actually. And this will generally help you make it work. This, this also works as well. So you can also be like an eBay approved seller to do this stuff. But the thing with that is you need to be on US only. So I'm not gonna like focus on that one. I want this video to be a helper for everybody. So for that, first of all, we have to go ahead and register or sign in to our eBay account. It's kind of easy. You can just like choose your account. If you have an account, just say sign in from here. Or if you do not have an account, choose here. Do whatever you want. You can use Facebook, Google, or like general Twitter account, whatever you want. I will say create an account. Like I'm creating a new account for this only. As you can see, the moment I enter, it's giving me recommendations because I have like searched for old movies, like really, really old movies before on eBay. So it's giving me those. And if I go here and say sell, from this menu like this, I will go into the selling option. And from here, I will be able to choose whatever I want. Like I said, there were three ways of selling a digital product on eBay. And we already know two of those. The third one is not important because it's like for US specific only. And like I said, I want this video to be a worldwide thing. So I will show you things that Everybody, doesn't matter where you are in the world, I will show you the ways that everybody can do. So for that, we will go on and say list an item 
we will of course tell them what we are selling. I will say, let's say a uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's say Red Dead Redemption 2. I will search for it and it will tell me what it is. Top picks from the product library. This is like their own product library. I will be able to choose the, of course, PlayStation, like the platform, the genre, the publisher, the release year. I will choose Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's say we have Ultimate Edition. We will do Ultimate Edition. How is it? Since it's like a digital product, it will be brand new always because it's a digital product. It cannot like get old. We will say continue to listing. And of course, in this page, I have to like provide them a contact information. So this is like a really detailed part of it. Like you have to give them everything you have. And like if you don't have like a valid phone number, you can enter your number depending on that. And of course, if you do that as well, I'm not going to show it on this video because it's against YouTube policies. But if you do that as well, after you do that, you will be able to put a product listing like I'm going to show you guys right now. You will be able to put a product listing like any other eBay listing online. So if I just go around here and say key, for example, like this. Now it will show, as you can see, like these are digital products. Like this is a key, for example, this is like a digital code. So you will be able to list your product like this. And then you can either say buy now like this, or you can just go like select add to cart. People will be able to do that with your items as well. So you can normally do that as like a classified ad for, but for any digital product, it doesn't like need something like that. You can just like put and publish your product like this depending on your platform. Generally, Steam keys are like the most easily purchasable ones. And if you do like a physical item with a digital file, you can like take example, the collector's editions that have like extra digital items with that comes with them. So if they, if I say Red Dead Redemption to digital like this, this is like a digital code. These are like all digital code. Some of them are even like PC shared account and these don't matter. And of course, some of them are keys. Some of them are games with DLCs. As you can see, this is one of those. You will be able to put your product like this after you go ahead and choose, of course, the physical item with a digital file route. But what would I recommend? I would recommend the first option just going on and like putting a key sale like this. Of course, that all depends on your physical item. If you're selling like a Steam account, like let me show you those as well. You can like put them like this, of course, because like it always generally goes like this. And of course, whenever you do something like this, you like always remember that to be fast enough because if you're not fast enough, it doesn't sell fast enough and people will be hesitant to buy it. So remember what I told you in the video and of course make sure to always do fast work and of course do efficient work because if you work like that it will always go good. That's generally how that goes and I hope this video was helpful. If it was don't forget to give us a like and maybe even subscribe to our channel but in any other case I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.